My first bottle railroad video, January 29th, 2015. Benchwork is in. Room size is 10 foot 7 inches wide by 8 foot deep with a 30 inch lift off bridge. Framework's made out of 1 by 3s with half inch plywood on top. I've already got it painted up. Show you the lift out bridge here. And it just simply, yeah, simply lifts off. Two by four on that end, two by four on this end. Couple of peg holes in it. There's the underside of the bridge. I used one and a half by one and a half eighth inch aluminum angle to keep the one by eight board from bowing. Laid the bridge on top of the two by fours, drilled right straight down through the two by fours, and dropped in a three eighths bolt. So those are my pins that line me up. These pieces here were the cut off the leftovers. I put them on there for two reasons. One, to help keep the board from cupping this way. And I've also got them set so the 2x4s that I'm setting them on top sit right on top of this. And the 2x4s sit right in between these pieces here. So it lines me up side to side. The pinholes keep me straight. Got them a track in. 27 pieces of uh, Atlas Flex. 30, I think it's 35 pieces or 30 pieces of uh, what is it? 30 pieces of uh, cork. I'm not going to uh, try to lay the flex on the curves. So I got all my 24 inch there. That's out of the package and the package next to it. The middle there is 22 inch. And then I've got uh, a yard that's going to have some 18 inch on it. All my uh, turnouts. Uh, I've got uh, three, six, I think there's eight. Number six Atlas custom line rights and eight number six Atlas custom line lefts. And then I got a, I think there's, there's four of them there, but I'm only going to be using three of the Atlas number four custom line turnouts. I get on that yard where the 18 inch curves are. Going to use N scale rail joiners because I bought the uh, 83 slash 100. Atlas rail joiners and they they fit real sloppy. I know these are going to be hard to put on, but they'll definitely make my track tighter because I'm only going to solder my curves together. All my straightaways and and uh, turnouts are going to be left unsoldered. And then these are some expensive little burgers. Twenty of the uh, Caboose Industries 5202s, which are the ones that are sprung. For the turnout, so they came and needed 19 of them. But so there it is. I got all my track, got all my turnouts, got my cork, got everything I need, and my bridge. Yeah, I'll show you here. You can just drop her down, and she fits right in there, nice and flush. Oops. Must have pushed a button there and zoomed in, didn't mean to. Got a little gap there, but I can fix I can fix that. This one here come out pretty close. Got my workbench right over there with my right behind my food pantry there. Everything all nice and neat. So there we are. Here's the beginning. Oh my back drops up, as you can see. So I have a big bay window there, so I put a backdrop up there. I will have a 12 inch or so backdrop going across the, here, and then from the bridge here, going to the wall there. Got my clouds in. Just a rattle can spray paint job on the clouds. 
you get some better light in here. There's supposed to be a cloud here, and uh, I was trying to paint some mountains, wasn't doing a very good job. That's why it looks so dirty around this switch. That's just where I was wiping off the paint. That's a bunch of paint still left on there. I gotta finish throwing some more paint on there to cover that up. I didn't notice it, but I gotta do another cloud over here. All right, there she is.